Reba and I'm back. I know it's been a while guys. I've had so much going on. I'll explain everything as we move through this video, but I just want to jump right into this tutorial. A lot of you guys have been requesting a dedicated step-by-step um, -step tutorial on how to use the round brush attachment for the Dyson um, Air Wrap. So I'm going to be focusing on just this attachment. I'm going to show you guys some techniques that I've picked up on styling my hair using this tool. So what I thought I'd do is do a comparison video. So I'm going to do this on half of my head and then on the other half of my head I'm going to do like a traditional blowout with a round brush and I'm going to be going in with a round brush that's roughly the same size as the Dyson Air Wrap round brush. So it'll give us like, you know, like a, a fair playing ground um, for our comparison. So I just shampooed and conditioned my hair and now I'm just going to prep it with some product and detangle it. If your hair is really, really fine, you want to go in with either a really strong hold mousse or a volumizing spray. If you have medium texture hair, you can just go in with like your regular blow dry sprays. Um, spray form is probably best for you if you have the medium texture hair. And then if you have like the curly, coarse, thick hair, then you want to stick to something that's a little bit more uh, denser and creamier. So you want to stick to a cream based product. I'm going to prep my hair, detangle it, and we're going to get right into this. So the first thing that you want to do when you're round brushing your hair in any scenario, any tool that you use is you want to pre-style your hair and pre-dry your hair. Because if you go in with a round brush on soaking wet hair, it's just going to take you like five times as long and it's not going to be as effective. So here are two options for pre-styling hair. So with the Dyson Airwrap, this is the attachment you're going to use. And then if you have a blow dryer at home that has several attachments like my Dyson does, you want to use the widest um, attachment for your pre-styling, okay? And basically you want to focus on your roots and your mids. I would say you want to dry your roots completely all the way and then you want to dry your mids about 50% and then you want to leave your uh, ends pretty damp. What you don't want to do is just go in with your pre-stylers and just go ham, just blow drying your hair like crazy because you're going to end up with such a big frizzy mess. Especially those of you with medium to coarse texture hair, you don't have the luxury of doing that. Those of you with baby fine hair, you almost want to do that. So, you, so the baby fine hair and the fine hair people, you want to dump your head upside down and just kind of like rough style it, focusing on your roots and your mids, okay? Medium fine to coarse hair, you want to go in with some kind of paddle brush and you want to lift your roots up high and you want to focus on um, blow drying your roots while they're standing up. Okay, so if you rough style your hair like this, you're going to get the most amount of volume in your hair uh, because it's being dried in the opposite direction of where it's going to fall, if that makes any sense. So with that being said, with the Dyson Airwrap, you can go in with this attachment and pre-style your hair using this. So it'll get your hairline nice and smooth and you can rough dry it up and then once that's like um, a little bit on the drier side you can go back in and, and round brush your hair so this is a pretty good pre styler as well so we're going to completely style one side of my head using um, the Dyson air wrap first and then we're going to uh, completely style my hair on the left side using a traditional blow dryer so we're just gonna roughly separate the hair as I'm pre-styling and literally it'll take just a couple of minutes okay and so that just removed a lot of the moisture in my mid area which is like really really dense and thick so now I want to basically almost completely dry my roots um, before I start round brushing and I'm just going to go in with this attachment and we're going to just hold it up Go right into the roots and hold it out, and that's it. That way it kind of starts the smoothing out process for me. So you want to get right into the hairline and like smooth out your hairline completely. Okay, so now my roots are pretty much like almost 100% dry and my mids are about 50% dry. And my ends, I didn't take any heat to them, but whatever like residual heat fell off onto the ends, that's all the heat that they got. 
So you want to just like make sure you section your hair properly um, and just start from the bottom and clip everything away. So once this is styled, you don't want all this damp hair falling on styled hair. So make sure that you keep it clipped away. And then depending on how thick or thin your hair is, that's usually what determines the size of the section that you're gonna be taking. If your hair is super fine, you can always go in with bigger sections. If your hair is thick and coarse, um, then you have to go in with uh, smaller sections. So when you're round brushing, you wanna make sure that you create tension in your hair. So tension means you wanna create some kind of pull in your hair, um, and that's what's gonna help you smooth it out and set the style. So we're going to create, hold on to the end, and we're going to create a loop all the way around, and I'm going to keep holding on to the end here, and then we're just going to slowly move it down. And you can hold this because this stays cool, and you can just kind of roll it down and kind of twist it as you move down your hair. And that's it, that's all we're gonna do. And once this is done, you don't wanna pull on it, you don't wanna touch it. It's basically setting now. So we all know, I say it in every video, your hair sets once it heats and cools in the same exact position. So this is setting right now. So if I just pull on it while it's still hot, it's going to set dropped. So just leave it alone, let it do its thing and live its life, and we will get back to it later, okay? So I'm just gonna push it back away so I can continue working like on the side of my shoulder. So every time I finish a piece, I throw it over and anytime I'm working on a piece, I keep it in front. And that's kind of what I do to keep it separate from the hair that's damp and the hair that's styled. So another way to use this is instead of going downwards and wrapping it and pulling it, you can actually just go in vertically, stick it in, give it half a twist so it's like locked in there and then turn the machine on and pull your actual head away from the machine. So, and when you get to the end, just rotate the end. And just do that until it's dry. Now once that's done, I'm just gonna throw it over my shoulder again and keep it separate from the damp pieces. Okay, so this is where we're at right now round brushed about half of it. Um, so when you get to the back here, um, the crown, this is the area that most people like having the most amount of volume. Um, so I'll show you guys some techniques for this area back here. What's beautiful? My bow door is beautiful. Thank you, princess. So the air section in here, you wanna basically blow dry it forward and in the complete opposite direction of where it's gonna fall to get the maximum amount of volume, okay? So we're gonna take our section, we're gonna hold it forward. And again, if you want, you can use this, because it's cool, and you can grab that and hold it and kind of rotate it on your way down. When you pick it up, and you drop it in the direction that it's supposed to fall, you have like a little hump there. So that's what's gonna give you the volume. And that little hump is there because I blow dried it in the opposite direction. So again, leave it alone and let it set. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of leave it kind of sitting upwards and we're gonna let it cool down. So if you have the kind of hair that like doesn't hold curl well at all and it like drops very easily, you can kind of give it a bit of a boost by throwing in a cool shot um, using your air wrap. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. The cool shot will kind of help it set and like freeze almost instantly. So to utilize the cool shot, you're gonna basically just like wrap this like you normally would. And then once it's wrapped, you're going to utilize your cool shot, which is right here. You're gonna swipe it up, and you have to hold it down the whole time you want it on. And you're gonna hold it for about 10 seconds. And once it's cooled down completely, you just let go, turn it off, and slide the air wrap out. And it's cooled, and it's set. So I've been wanting to share this tutorial with you guys for the past month. Um, because you've been requesting it non-stop. But the reason that I haven't been able to is because 
I've been in the middle of the biggest move ever, like so long to unpack because of my pregnancy. I had to like wait for help all the time to like lift things and slide things into place and it just took really long to get settled in this time. On top of that, baby is coming in five weeks so I've been like shopping and nesting and trying to set up for the new baby. So that's why I just haven't had any time to create any content for YouTube. But now, <laughs> like six weeks after our move, I'm finally settled in. So I'm officially back on schedule. I'm just doing my cool chart right now. Now I'm going to let it go in a couple of seconds. And slide it out. And look at that. So pretty. So all of these pieces that are like around your face and on the side of your head, I like to push them forward and style them because when you do that and you let go, it like and you push it back, it creates this beautiful sweep. So you'll see I basically just like kind of slide it down and when I get to the ends, I kind of rotate it and I'll hold it for a few seconds and once it's wrapped all the way around, I'm gonna take my cool shot and I'm gonna blast it for 10 seconds and let that set and then I'm just gonna turn it off and reveal my beautiful curl so pretty okay and this last piece is the money shot in the hairdressing world we call this piece that's like in the front we call this the money shot this is the money shot you want to go forward opposite of the direction that it's going to fall so we're going forward and out because it's going to fall down and back make sure your roots are nice and tall and high up and then you're going to rotate it to smooth out your ends. And once it's wrapped, you're going to take your cool shot and blast it for a few seconds. And then we're going to turn it off. Really important thing about this, turn the machine off before you pull it out. Because if you pull it out while the air is still blasting, your hair is just going to be like all funky and it's going to undo your beautiful curl. So turn it off and then unravel it and just slide it out. And look at that gorgeous blow dry flip. And we are done on this side. Now I'm just gonna take a paddle brush and smooth all the roots upwards as I dry. So it's smoothing and drying and creating volume all at the same time. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the wider nozzle and we're gonna go in with the narrower nozzle there we go so if you ever find yourself blow drying your hair um, upwards away from your ends you're basically opening up all of your cuticle layer which is the outer layer of your hair and you're making your hair so frizzy and it's gonna dull it out quite a bit so if you want the shiniest hair and you want it to feel smooth and you want your cuticle to be shut always make sure the airflow is going towards the ends of your hair okay even if you're blow drying upwards like if i'm blow drying like this guess what the ends are up there so my blow dryer is going to be parallel to my hair shaft and it's going to be blow drying that way if you're blow drying down you're going to go this way so as i round brush i basically want to create my tension so i put it in there and i get a solid grip i rotate it until it's gripped in there and once it's gripped in there, you slide it down. And then once you get to the ends, you will take the ends. Okay, so we're making our way through and this is where we're at right now. So something I wanted to like point out to you guys that I see a lot of people doing when they're blow drying, you put your nozzle right up to your round brush. So that basically traps all of the air inside your nozzle and because your hair is covering all of the vents in the brush there's nowhere for the air to escape but with dyson they have these like vents on their nozzle so if you do have that habit of like controlling your hair and your round brush with your nozzle like i do sometimes um it's kind of okay with this blow dryer because it has 
a place to escape. So any of you hairdressers that are watching this and you see me tapping and you're cringing, don't cringe. Don't cringe at me, okay? So you basically just wanna smooth it out as best as you can. When you get to the end, you wanna rotate and rotate and rotate. And once you get that grip, you wanna pull it a little and blast this section with air to smooth this out. And then give this a solid bit of heat to kind of create the curl. And then you're going to utilize your cool button to set the curl. So once our curl is set, we're going to turn off our, round, our blow dryer. We're going to just give it a few seconds and we're just going to unravel. All right, now the money shot for this side. Same concept, forward and up. Always direct your airflow towards the ends of your hair, so I'm not going to blow dry it down here underneath. My ends are going that way, so I'm going to pull my arm up here and I'm going to blow dry it this way to make sure the airflow is still going towards the ends of my hair. I'm going to tap this because I can because of this nozzle. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to hold it in place to create the curl. And once the curl is created from the heat, we're going to push our cool button and we're going to set the curl. So now we're going to set it for about 10 seconds. And then we're going to turn off the blow dryer. Another couple seconds and then you're just going to rotate it out into this beautiful little curl. I'm almost done, okay? Be right with you, okay? Love you. Love you. Okay, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. All right. Can you close the door? Thank you, princess. Thank you, princess. All right. Okay, so you guys can see there's a distinct difference between the side that I used the air wrap and then the side that I used a round brush with a blow dryer. It's kind of like just a curling iron with air in it. Um, so my curls are a lot more defined and shiny I'm finding using it and I'm finding it way faster. So these days I've been round brushing my hair with the air wrap. Um, if you guys want to know my official answer, it's definitely, I prefer the air wrap, but it's very tricky to get to, um, learn the technique with it. I'm not going to lie. Like a lot of people do have a hard time with it, but once you get the hang of it, it's, it's way better. And those of you guys at home that don't have an air app, I hope that like some of my blow drying techniques helped you guys out with your blow dries at home. So once again, we're going to be trying really hard to stay consistent with our YouTube channel. We have a vlog coming up um, pretty soon. So just stay posted and we'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you subscribe. Mwah. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And don't forget to leave me any comments or questions down below and I will get back to you. I'll see you guys on the next one.